Hey everyone, my name is Tristan and welcome to my small workshop in my basement. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a basic foam helmet using pre-made templates you can purchase on my Etsy store. That's right, I now have an Etsy store where you can purchase downloadable templates for just a couple of bucks. Because I just started my shop, I only have three template options, but I'm going to add more in the future. So you can go check it out, there's a link in the description. This video goes pretty in depth because it's for beginners who don't necessarily know how to build a helmet like this. So let's not waste any time and get right into the build. The first thing you need to do is to purchase and print my basic helmet template which is available on my Etsy store for a couple of bucks. When that's done you need to precisely cut out the two pieces of the template and for that you can use scissors or an X-Acto knife. Make sure you cut exactly on the lines. On the template pieces there are registration marks which will help with the alignment of the pieces when we glue them together later. Use your scissors or an X-Acto knife to cut out little triangles at every one of those marks. And repeat the process for the second piece. And now your templates are ready to be transferred to EVA foam. This is the foam I'll be using for the helmet. It's called floor mat foam and you probably know that it's used in workshops and gyms to cover and protect the floor. It's about 10 mm thick and it has a textured side which will keep hidden inside of the helmet. It's also a low density EVA foam which means it's going to be softer and easier to work with than some other EVA foam. Now it's time to figure out where you want to trace your templates down to your foam. Don't position your templates in the middle of your sheet of foam because it's going to waste a whole lot of material. Instead try and put them in the corner of your sheet of foam and also try and put them as close to each other as possible. To make sure your templates don't move while you trace them down to your foam, pin them down using sewing pins. Make sure you add a pin to every corner of your template pieces, and if there's a spot that decides to lift up a little, pin it down too. Once both your template pieces are pinned down to your foam, you can finally trace them down using a sharpie. Once you've gone all around your pieces, make sure you also transfer your registration marks. Once you're done, it's finally time to unpin your two template pieces. And this is what it should look like. Now, if you've never done this before, you might be wondering how you'll make the right side of the helmet if you only have the left side of the template. Well, because the helmet is symmetrical, you can just flip your templates and trace them down again and you have your right side. As we did earlier, make sure you put your template pieces as much in the corner of your sheet of foam as possible. And then you can repeat the process of pinning down your template pieces. After that, use a sharpie to trace around the templates and to also trace the registration marks. And finally, unpin your templates. Once you're done tracing down your templates, it's a good idea to mark which pieces are the left side of the helmet and which pieces are the right side. Now it's time for what I think is the most fun part and it's cutting out your pieces of foam. You'll need a big X-Acto knife like this one. And make sure you have a blade sharpener because when you cut foam your blade dulls really fast. Because this video is targeted for beginners, I'm gonna show you how to properly cut your foam. So first your blade has to be out about an inch and a half. When you cut your foam, you want your edges to be straight, so make sure your blade is perpendicular to the foam. 
just like this. To make your cuts cleaner, lower your hand and put it as close to the foam as you can. Just like this. And you can see that the cut is pretty clean. Next, try and do the same thing but following a straight line. When you cut thick foam, you can do it in two passes. Next, try and cut a corner like this. Just sink your blade into the foam where the two lines meet and when you go all the way through, make your cut. Do the same thing for the other line. That's also a pretty clean cut. The last cut you have to try is a curve, and this one's a bit trickier than the others. When you do a cut like this one, you need to bend the blade where you want to go. This cut is not as clean as the others, but it's not a big deal. Now it's time to cut your helmet pieces out. To keep your cuts as clean as possible, make sure you sharpen your blade after every couple of cuts. And now here are the four pieces of the helmet all cut out. Foam is pretty soft, which means you can bend it pretty easily, but it doesn't keep its shape. To make sure your foam pieces keep their shape, heat them up using a heat gun, then form them into the right shape and let them cool. This step is very important, you should not skip it. When you're heating your foam, make sure your heat gun is always moving. If you keep it in one spot for too long, you will burn your foam. When you heat your foam, start by the top side. When you're done, flip it and heat the underside. And when you're done heating the underside, reheat the top side before you form your foam. Shaping EVA foam is pretty easy. You don't need any fancy tools. You can just use your hands. I also sometimes use my knees. Here you can see the big difference it makes to heat form your foam. So now just repeat the same process for your three other pieces. When your pieces have cooled, give them a quick blast on the top surface so that the wrinkles disappear. After doing the heat forming process, your pieces should look like this. For the next step, make sure you wear a respirator because we're gonna use contact cement, which is some pretty nasty stuff. There are many different brands of contact cement, like Barge and Weldwood, but this brand works for me, so that's what I use. The way you use contact cement is you apply a thin layer on both of the pieces you want to stick together, then you let it dry for about 5 minutes and when the glue is tacky but not liquid anymore you can stick your pieces together. To spread your contact cement on your pieces of foam you don't need a brush, you can just use a scrap piece of EVA foam. Make sure you spread it as evenly as you can. The contact cement gets applied on every edge where there's registration marks. If you want a stronger hold, you can apply a second layer of contact cement, but you don't have to. The first thing you want to stick together is the dart on this left piece. Slowly press the two sides of the foam together, making sure the registration marks are aligned. If they're not, you can stretch and pull the foam to make sure they get aligned. When your two sides are stuck together, press even harder on the seam to make sure it doesn't unstick. Now you can attach your lower and upper left pieces together. 
Start with the front, slowly making your way to the back. Make sure your registration marks are aligned. When you're done, push the edges together really hard so they don't unstick. You can even flip your piece inside out to make sure the exterior edge is completely closed. Now that you're done with the left side of the helmet, you can do the right side. So apply a thin coat of contact cement and spread it evenly. And then stick your pieces together following the registration marks and making sure your seams are completely closed. So now you have two sides of a helmet, but we need to stick them together. So just apply your contact cement to each side of the helmet and then stick them together. Attaching the two sides of the helmet together is the trickiest part of the build, but make sure you go slowly and you press your edges together really hard so they don't unstick, and you should be fine. And the construction of your helmet is completely finished. And you can see that following the registration marks made it a lot easier. Now there's only one step remaining. As you can see the top of the helmet is pretty flat and it should be rounded. So we're gonna use the heat gun to form it to the right shape. Start by heating up the inside of the helmet evenly. And when you're done, do the same thing to the outside. And then use your hands to shape the helmet how you want it. You can see that now the helmet is pretty much perfectly round. And here you go, you just finished making your own foam helmet. So now you should have a helmet that looks like this. Just note that the thicker the foam you use, the harder it's gonna be to build this helmet. If it's your first time using EVA foam, I would recommend using thinner floor mat foam which comes in rolls like this. But now you should know the basic techniques on how to work with foam and how to make something that essentially looks pretty cool. So as I said in the beginning of the video, the templates to make this helmet are available on my Etsy store. The link is in the description below. Also, I now have an Instagram for this YouTube channel. You can go check it out, the link is also in the description. Now this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful to you and I also hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can leave a like to the video and subscribe to my channel for more cool stuff like this. And until the next video, I'll see you later. Bye.